Palm trees in San Diego County, you can't miss them. They're everywhere. They stand tall and short. They can take a beating from the sun and the wind, but for one species, the bottom, or should I say the top, may be falling out, all due to these little guys. The reason why we're here today is to look at South American palm weevils that are probably infesting the interior of this palm tree. This palm tree is a Canary Island date palm, and it's over 20 years old. The weevil infesting it has been making its way up from South America for some time now. The weevil was first picked up in the San Diego area around 2010, 2011. And even though we found it at that stage, nothing was done to contain the spread. And of course, it's just slowly moved up from Tijuana into San Isidro. Now it's up here in Chula Vista. And now we just don't know how far north, east and west it's spread from this infestation area. So what better way to learn about the weevil than to remove a tree that's infested? I contacted Tracy, sent her photos of this palm, and it looked like it was a good candidate that it might have the palm weevil in it. Tracy Ellis, an entomologist with the County of San Diego, was part of the team to get this tree removed. These are mostly professional arborists that want to be able to see what the South American palm weevil damage looks like and how to identify this pest and also how to take down the tree properly. Every little round hole in here was where a pupa fit, so like that. So the issue for us is preserving our iconic heritage Canary Island date palms, and these are the ones that are pruned at the top to look like pineapples. It's quite a famous landscape feature for California. You see them at Balboa Park, they're in Disneyland at the San Diego Zoo, so they're really important landscape features. And this weevil also presents a very serious threat to a unique agricultural industry in California, and that's the date groves that are out in the Coachella Valley. So take this together, the landscape issues and then the agricultural issues from the perspective of the date growing community, this weevil has the potential to be a serious economic pest for California. I keep looking at Canary Island date palms all over town and I keep seeing the tops of them look a little funky, which makes me think it could be another infestation of, of this pest. Each one of these trees can yield up to 1,000 weevils. The weevils kill the palm tree because the immature stages, the larvae are feeding on the palm and it's that reproductive activity that's going on in the palm tree that kills the palm tree. The weevil lays its eggs on the very top of the tree and the larvae develop in the tree. They burrow into the tree from the top center. This creates the leaf dying in a flattened top. The top will fall off in some instances, the fronds will fall out, and you just end up with this trunk that grows up and it has that halo of dead palm fronds encircling the, the top of the trunk because all the good stuff's either been eaten or it's dropped out because of the damage the weevils have done inside that palm heart. What they'll do is fly off from this tree and find another tree to infest. So it is a ticking time bomb. People are going to start to see their trees with their flat tops in their yards, Canary Island date palms in particular and then they'll have to go through the expensive process of removing it because it will be a hazard. A hazard that can cost up to $1,500 to remove. With so many Canary Island date palms in the county, the infestation could affect a lot of people. We haven't actually had this uh, pest at the zoo, but just in case we do, so we're prepared to know how to do the, the takedown and know what we're looking for. We have a few of these palms, the Canary Island date palms out on our reservation, um, but bigger picture, there's a lot of them around town. I'm hoping a collaboration of arborists and scientists and tree workers down here can maybe hem this thing in and, and stop it before it gets out of hand. As for this tree... Today we found probably about 50 adult large weevils and we found hundreds of larvae and pre pupae that were ready to turn into weevils and we found lots of empty pupil cases, which means that adults have already left this tree. So if people are concerned about their palms, they need to talk to a professional arborist who can get them on a treatment plan to prevent the infestation of the weevil. If the palm tree has already been infested, it's likely that that tree will need to be taken down. There is no funding yet to take on the South American palm weevil, so if you think one of your palms has been infested, visit UC Riverside's website, fill out a report, 
and upload a picture to help identify and document the spread of the weevil. In the County News Center, I'm Jose Villanueva.